Who doesn't want to be Batman? I mean, he's straight up built different in every aspect. And if you've been paying attention, I've talked about several different variations of the character because they're all so very different. Christian Bale Batman fights totally different than the Arkham Asylum Games version. And the Robert Pattinson Batman, which is honestly one of my favorite Batman movies, couldn't hold a candle in combat against Ben Affleck's version in the uh, the DC universe on in movies. But today I want to go over the DCAMU or the DC Animated Movie Universe Batman. Because honestly, I really enjoyed the series of movies and Batman is like the main focus of the entire universe. Being the main character in 15 of the 17 total movies and only being excluded from one of them. Bonus points if you can guess which one that is. But today I'm going to break down his fighting cell so that you can learn how to be this version of Batman in real life and also teach you how to do a combination that he does in the series. But let's play a game. The last number of your like on this video will decide which Robin you are. If you are a one, a four, or a seven, you are Nightwing. And if you are a two, five, or eight, you unfortunately get to die and come back as Jason Todd. And if you're a three, six, or nine, you get to be Tim Drake, the smartest Robin. And don't worry, if you get a zero, you get to be the blood son, Damian Wayne. Let me know what you get down below. What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators in a super row hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Let's talk a little bit about this Batman in comparison to other Batman. Obviously, we all know the origin of Batman, billionaire playboy who witnessed the murder of his parents as a child, driving him to put on the cape and cowl and swear to only deliver permanent brain damage as his form of vengeance. That was dumb, but we're gonna continue. Although, I don't wanna let this go. It's weird that he like really has this thing about not killing and will just give everyone brain damage. Like paralyze everyone. You make a bunch of vegetables, but killing? That's a no. But anyway, as always, he is a highly skilled detective, martial artist, and strategist. Being the leader of the Justice League in, well, in a way. I don't think there's an official leader, but he's definitely the acting leader. And in this universe, they put a lot of focus on his relationships with his allies and his family. People like Nightwing, Robin, Batgirl, Batwoman, and so on. I think this is the universe with the most Batman characters like shown on screen. Might be wrong, Young Justice might have it beat out, but I think this is definitely, definitely close. Which is really cool because I personally am a huger fan of the Batman side characters than I am of Batman, so if you see some Batman related characters coming up, you know why. But what makes this version of Batman able to throw hands with the best of them? Obviously, that's going to be his martial arts training in several different styles of martial arts. And in order for us to recreate his fighting style in real life, we're definitely gonna have to train in several styles, all with dif a different purpose. Those styles being karate, judo, jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, and a bit of a screamer. And like I said, each of these is for a unique purpose. Karate is going to give us powerful stances and very precise movements, giving us a solid base to start from and solid stances to root us into the ground for more powerful uh, strikes and hits and attacks in general. Judo is a Japanese martial art that will teach us throws, joint locks, and leverage-based techniques. Batman is able to literally throw around heavy hitters like Bane or even Superman. And so we are definitely going to have to get our top tier technique in order to pull off those amazing, you know, body throws and, and strength feats. Because technique is everything and I will die on that hill. I mean, it's no kryptonite, but you get it. And to blend with judo, we have jujitsu that will allow us to use our opponent's force against them, taking us even further with our grappling skills. Because like I said earlier, we need to be able to go hand to hand with the man of steel. And even with brainwashing and kryptonite together, that still is not gonna be easy. So we better be on our game. Next, we are jumping into perfecting our striking abilities, starting with kickboxing to give us a solid base and powerful kicks, as 
well as boxing to enhance our punches to the absolute max. And with the world record puncher being able to hit like a literal sledgeham being forced overhead, like literally the exact same force, this will give us the power to give brain injuries to everyone who opposes us, which is honestly the most like Batman we will ever be. I'm vengeance. Batman's basically like Oprah with brain damage. Like you get brain damage, you get brain damage, everyone gets brain damage. <laughs> I'm leaving. But lastly, we're going to dip into our weapon work with Eskrima. And this is the Filipino martial art dedicated to weapons. And that dedication especially shines with the ability to basically use anything as a weapon of opportunity. Basically, if they can find it, they can use it as a weapon. I'm gonna just put this back though. I wonder if anybody noticed when that thing gave the camera the bird, but I'll let y'all figure that out. But giving Batman the ability to use anything as a weapon is absolutely perfect, not only for his personal combat, but it makes it make sense as to how he was able to teach so many other people how to use so many other weapons. I mean, if we're gonna build our Bat family in real life, we better get started. And so I am taking applicants in the comments. Let me know how you're gonna join my bat for me. But as far as Batman's fighting style, we definitely have the entire thing outlined with how we're gonna train it. Let's jump into the moves that you see him do in the movies and figure out how you can do it in your backyard right now. Well, I mean, in your backyard, unless you're in Texas, because it's like really, really hot right now. Seriously, someone send help, but let's go. So in this movie, Batman is fighting the Court of Owls, and there's a reason I chose this movie out of all of the DC AMU movies, uh, and that's because he's fighting the Court of Owls, and for those of you that don't know, the Court of Owls is pretty much like zombie ninjas dressed as owls, um, which sounds weird <laughs> when you think about it, but I promise it's super cool, and it means that Batman doesn't have to hold back because they're essentially ninjas, or zombie ninjas, <laughs> and so since they're already dead, Batman can, can go all out. And in this part of the fight scene, I picked this because he fights off two different people at once and it really showcases Batman's battle awareness, which is really important. He's able to fight two people while only looking at one of them. So in the fight, uh, you have one guy rushing Batman as another guy standing behind Batman with two different swords. We're in our guard stand starting here. The first sword is gonna come straight through uh, trying to take out our, our sap through our back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step to the side slightly and with our right hand, lift it out of the way to let that blade come through, just letting it slip through. And as that arm comes through, we're going to come down to break that arm. And then that same elbow is going to elbow back towards our partner and we're gonna spin through to get good power. Just once more time, we're gonna evade that sword strike, dropping our weight, breaking that arm, spin through with our right elbow, using our right hand for all of those strikes so far. From here, we're going to duck that black person's second sword, seeing it coming over our left shoulder. We're gonna duck it, and as we come up, we lift our left foot to kick the bad guy approaching us away from us. So again, we dodge, we break that arm, we spin through, we duck, and kick him away. From here, our right hand comes up to block as our left hand goes out to grab the wrist of our opponent that just swung at us again to secure the arm and keep him from escaping because we're gonna break the other arm with our right hand pulling a wrist backwards as we push through for our arm break, reaching over top to wind up a back fist to take that opponent down you know, relatively permanently, because again, they're zombies. So one more time, we start off, dodge, drop that weight, spin through elbow, duck the blade, kick them away with our left foot, pushing front kick. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial about that, I, I've done it a ton of times, so go check that out. But then we're going to block and grab, break the arm, reach over, back fist them away. And from a different angle, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And that is our Batman uh, combination based 
off of this scene right here. And I'll do it kind of side by side so you can see. Whoo, just like that. Hopefully that one lines up side by side, but I guess we'll see in editing. Either way, let's get back in the side. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know what Bat Family members you would like me to do next in the series. Obviously I've been going through lots of different, you know, characters from different series is and I will continue to do these because it seems like you like them um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys need and while you're down you know in the comments interacting with the community consider becoming a channel member it can really help out the channel and it will get your name right here at the end of the video just like this guy right here but if not that's okay too don't even worry about it just liking the video and maybe even sharing it with your friend is a great way to help out and until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but left off just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to